Well, everyone, boy, oh boy, do we have an amazing announcement for you. Today is the day of our soft launch of our fourth much anticipated best selling book. Yes, Alka Sharma and I have joined our lights. We've joined forces to come to you to give you both financial and fitness success. I'm really excited because it's so fresh out of the publishing oven, if you will, that we have this printed off manuscript and we have also the the Kindle version. The Kindle version just launched 8.8 today and now we are having the big launch on 9.9. Without further ado, I want to bring my beautiful co-author, Alka Sharma, on our beautiful podcast. She is the best-selling author of From Cocoon to CEO. How excited are you, Alka Sharma? Hello there, first of all, and Jennifer, always excited to be here with you, always. And what really excites me about this, you know, the collaboration that, you know, this journey with, you know, you and I on, on the collaboration of this book has just been absolutely just fantastic. And I just want to say that I'm just so truly honored that I can be on this journey with you. So it just truly um, you know, excites me that how far we have come. And what really excites me about this book is we are going to change women's lives and not only, you know, from the physical aspect, but financial. And this is what really excites me because I know what that took on my journey in my life from, you know, stepping out the darkness into my light and, you know, navigating life when it's really difficult, when you have no, when you are broke financially and emotionally and mentally broke, yeah. that you know, that's enough for anyone to give up on their life. So I'm excited because yes. we are going to empower women together. I love that. We're going to change so many lives. Our impact is going to be felt on a global level yes. with this publishing mm -hmm. literary work. Shout out to our publisher, Sierra Rings Jones of Live Limitless. And truly, we are living limitless because with you being an expert in real estate, in investing, in budgeting and allocating your funds in a strategic way to actually have your money make you money. And I being the expert of bikini building, fitness, um, just having women push their mind, body and spirit to the next level. You need both to really crack your code. And I love the title of our book. This is the successful path to both financial and physical fitness. Your winning wealth and health lifestyle formula. It is a formula. And when you put our just strategies, our tips, our tools, our know how, our expertise to work in your life, you will say, This is a formula. All I need to do is read this book and actually do what it says. And I will be both financially fit and physically fit. So I just want to say, This has been such a big journey because we met like last fall and then our beautiful relationship know, yes. friendship has just blossomed into this beautiful here we are co-authors this is nothing short of a miracle it really is divine just divinely led so i want to thank my higher power i'm so grateful for the faith that you have in your message in my message and now here we are on this podcast and i'm going to be seeing you in toronto yes you are next <laughs> month after we have the book in our hands mm -hmm. but everyone watching before i ask Alka the next question do not walk, but run. Go to Amazon.com. Get the Kindle version now. We're doing a soft launch. We will then have the hard uh, launch, which is going to be September the 9th, 9-9. So on 8-8, we're doing the soft launch, giving you a chance to get the Kindle download. And then you want to make sure you get the, um, the actual physical book on uh, September the 9th, which is your birthday month. And then I'm going to be seeing you in Toronto for our amazing trip there. So I'm going to start yes. with this question outcome. Mm -hmm. When someone picks up this book, what do you think that they're going to gain from it? What type of insight, what type of instruction, what type of financial know-how do you kind of pull back your red curtain and share with our, our readership? The insights I want women to really um, you know, when they get their hands on this book, the insights needs to be, okay, where am I today with my finances? And we are talking about people who perhaps are just starting in the beginning, people, women who have gone through, maybe have gone going through challenges, maybe you're going through hard times in their lives, and they are finding themselves in debt. 
or mm. they are finding themselves broke. They are mm -hmm. finding themselves perhaps they overspending and they don't know how to manage mm -hmm. their money. So right. I feel, and what I want women to really, people to really get their insights and the hands off as to, okay, what am I doing with my money? Where is my money going? How am I mm -hmm. spending? Watch out for your behaviors because yes. there's always, you know, we've always, you know, had these beliefs uh, that were indoctrinated in our mm -hmm. lives by our parents, society, mm -hmm. or money is just enough. And when you right. are thinking from that mindset, money is just enough, you right. are living a mediocre lifestyle, mediocre Absolutely. thinking. So I Absolutely. want you and I want people to really change their mindset. But also, mm -hmm. I think, Jennifer, what's really important once they get their hands on this book is to know and take a deep dive as to where they are today yeah. when they when we talk about money and if they want to create wealth, what does that yeah. look like and what mm. they need to do? That's very important. Absolutely. Like have your vision of what you want the end result to look like. How much money do you Absolutely. want in your bank? How physically fit do you want? And then reverse engineer that read our book. And then you're going to be able to really say, you know what, this is our catchphrase. This is our slogan. This is our world famous mantra and positive affirmation. Empower your wealth, energize your health. Alka Sharma and Jennifer Nicole Lee, one goes along with the other. One hand washes the other. They're parallel. They complement each other. And I know you can agree, Alka, that when you're physically fit, you are more financially fit. And when you're more financially fit, you are physically fit you want to yes. be able to have the health to spend and enjoy your allotted budget and allotted funds on your vacations on you want to also then have the physical fitness and the mental cognitive well-being this goes not just physical but the mental wellness the being razor sharp we go in through all the hacks on how to biohack your body using the right supplement so you can then have a stronger brain, stronger muscles, better skin, better hydration. And that's going to equate you being a better businesswoman, being a better business athlete. So Absolutely. I just yeah. love how we are giving them the blueprint, the actual, just, just the step-by-step -step guide that everyone needs to crack their code. And I want to just go ahead and give our readers a little bit of a sneak peek to our table of contents so they know yeah. the robustness of this book. And I'm really proud of ourselves. I'm going to give myself a pat on my back. I'm giving Me you too. a high five <laughs> because this is this is a literary just classic. Absolutely. Here's yes. Who will mm -hmm. pull from this? First mm -hmm. of all, we give you a quiz. We want to know, are you born to be wealthy and healthy? We're going to see how you rate yourself. If you're really ready, rearing to go, really thirsty for knowledge and to push yourself physically. Then we give you a game plan. You know that you were born to be wealthy and healthy, but now we're going to give you that plan to work. And then you're going to work your plan. We go into chapter one, where you write about building your financial foundation, I then talk about in chapter two, sculpting success. You then go on chapter three and talk about growing your wealth, strategies for financial health and basics of real estate investing. Chapter four, I talk about fueling your body, nutrition essentials. Chapter five, you write about investing in your future, creating sustainable, that is important, sustainable financial habits. And then I talk about in chapter six, strength training for life, building muscles and resilience. And that trickles over into our business as well, because you got to have resilience and endurance because right. business can be very challenging. Then in the next chapter, you talk about um, navigating the market when it's just volatile, when it's just up and down, you know, topsy-turvy, ups upside down and inside out. And that's very important physically, because if you're mentally strong, you're not going to get emotional when things are going up and down, Right. And then this book is so amazing. Then in number eight, I talk about cardiovascular health, your heart health. In chapter nine, you talk about diversifying your portfolio for financial security. I then go in in chapter 10, talk about being flexible and having balance, mind, body, and spirit, yoga, Pilates, stretching, which I'm really into. Then chapter 11, you talk about real estate investing, building wealth through property. I love that. It's about not having as uh, liabilities, but assets. Chapter 12, I talk about mindful living, stress management, very important. Um, and in 13, you talk about retirement planning, securing your financial future. Then on the 14th chapter, I talk about rest recovery. And then the 15th, you talk about planning and preserving. The 16th chapter, lifelong wellness. 
And then on the 17th one, you talk about harnessing the power of mindfulness for financial well-being. And then on the last but not least, I talk about in chapter 18, cultivating gratitude for optimal health. Then we have a bonus chapter. This is where we put our, our voices together and we give you positive affirmations for wealthy and healthy living and closing. So you can see that this is like, you're going to walk away feeling like you got a PhD in just, <laughs> just being, just being a right. boss babe and a VIP queen. So I want to ask That's you funny. this, you talk about um, financial Jennifer, health strategies. Yes. Jennifer, I'm sorry. Can I just interject? I just I wanted to just very quickly, I just wanted to very please. quickly, sorry about that, but I, no, I think please. this is very important. You talked about uh, physical fitness and financial fitness. Yes. If one is building or creating wealth, one wants to create wealth, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you are compromising on your health, wow. You know, one day you go into the gym, the next day you fall back and, and you know, you take two weeks out because you feel you are unmotivated. If you're unmotivated in your physical fitness, you are going to be unmotivated in your financial because then you are going to say, okay, well, I don't know. I, you know, you're going to be overspending. You're going to be broke. You're going to be in debt. So these two go hand in hand, ladies. These go hand in hand. Your physical yes. fitness, your financial fitness do not compromise one mm -hmm. for the other. Mm -mm. Oh, go that's ahead, Jenny. Point. I love yes. that point. And Absolutely. it really is the backbone of our message. Absolutely. We yes. want to have, maybe you're in a mess. Well, your mess is going to be a message to someone else. We come with years of experience combined together with Alka and mine. We're looking at over 50, 60 years of experience combined in this literary work. And we love being authors and giving you the golden nuggets that are going to help you just say, you know what? Yeah, Alka is right. I need to start investing, but I didn't know how with her help in this book, I know how to be an investor. Now I know how to do real estate better. And with, oh my goodness, I knew I always had to get in shape, but with, you know, Jennifer Nicoli's insight with the fitness tips. Now I know how to strategically create a sustainable lifestyle program. And that's a big word in our message, sustainability, because we don't want you to have two weeks of working out or two weeks of, you know, allocating your funds correctly. We want you to have this longevity and that's so important. So I'm going to ask you, Alka, Alka, you cover advanced financial health strategies and real estate investing basics. Can you give us a sneak peek into some of these strategies? The strategies when it comes to real estate, the strategies when it comes to how you are creating your wealth mm. today. Yes. You need to, number one, these are three some basics, the foundations, mm -hmm. the yeah. fundamentals that mm -hmm. you need to create for you and your family today. Very, very important. Number yeah. one, the strategy needs to be, how are you tracking your spending? Nice. You need to have a budget and it's very easy what you can do for you and your family today, not tomorrow, today, starting today, is your income minus your expenses is going to be your goal budget. So it's very mm. important when you are tracking your money, if there's yeah. more money going out, you're more expenses and there's money right. coming in income. That's right. You need to tweak. Yeah. So you and your family need to sit down on a Sunday. This is what I used to do. On a mm. Sunday, I would create a spreadsheet as yes. to how much money was going out. So number one, very important, is tracking your spending. Number mm. two, have an emergency savings account. Mm. Very simply, you might be asking, Alka, what is an emergency savings account? Well, very simply, this is for any eventualities that may happen. For example, there could be a death in the family a spouse may lose his job. So you right. have money set aside. So that's very important to open an emergency savings account yeah. that money is put aside for any eventualities that, you know, we don't have a nice. crystal ball, but if anything mm -hmm. were to happen, mm -hmm. you can withdraw that money. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's very important to have. And number three mm -hmm. strategy is investing. Make investment mm -hmm. part of your daily mm -hmm. habit so that yes. you are creating financial future for you and your family so that when you are investing in stocks or it could be real estate but you need to have that financial future because you don't want to just depend on 
you know, the, the day-to-day, -day, your nine-to-five job. So these are my three simple no. strategies, Jennifer, that right. people need to implement to create mm -hmm. a foundation, to create a sustainable future for themselves. I love that. That is so powerful. And look, look how Alka chunked it down and made it so simple. Three major points to really just crack your financial success code and have a, like a budgeting day on that Sunday or a day that's a little bit quieter. Get your spreadsheet out. See how much is coming in and how much is going out. If more is going out, we know we got to pull the brakes on that and find other ways to bring more money in. I love that. Number two, emergency fund. Start saving for that emergency fund for a, a rainy day or something that might happen, God forbid. And then number three, invest. Investing should be a daily part of your tasks as a VIP queen boss babe, as a woman or a man that really wants to be in control of both their fitness and their finances. And I just learned so much every time I chat with you. So thank you so much. If I'm still learning, do you imagine what our readership is going to learn when they get their I know. hands on incredible. this book? You know what? I'd like to do something really fun right now and give our audience a little quiz, a little teaser. I'm not going to give them the full 20 questions, just the five. And everyone out there listening, this is going to get help you gain clarity. And it's in our first part of our literary work of this book where you get to have this clarity. So here's our quiz. And Alka, I really had a great time writing this with you to give our readers that that really just kind of help them declutter their right. the noise in their head and yes. get laser focused. Number one, yes or no. Do you believe that you deserve to live a life of abundance and prosperity? A lot of people don't believe that they have the subliminal beliefs. They are too old to start making money and get healthy. They are too broke to start making money or, or they're too out of shape to even start trying. I want to help you remove those blocks and have you manifest the wealth of your desire and also the youthful energy again that can't you can tap into. Number two, are you committed to taking daily actions to improve your financial situation? I need to hear a resounding Alka said. She says investing is a daily task and also seeing what's going out as opposed to what's going in is a right. weekly strategy. So daily and weekly exercises. These are health habits for both finances and physical. Three, do you believe that your health is just as important as your wealth? That's empowering because, you know, a lot of multimillionaires, Alka, so do I. And sadly enough, they neglect their health. They cannot even get up and out of the chair. They have to have assistance. They are just very out of shape. Their health habits are bad. They don't work out. They eat very bad, maybe excessive alcohol drinking. And we're here to help you get balanced in that. At the same time, maybe there's someone that's super healthy, but their finances are out of whack. We want you to have harmony. Two more questions. This is so much fun. Number four, are you willing to make self-care and wellness activities in your daily routine a priority? These are priorities. Number five, last but not least, do you believe that you have the power to create the life that you desire? That question is so powerful. And you know, you found a point in your life, Alka, where you had to believe that you deserved more. You were worth more than what you were living. Right. And that's how you are here now to share your information. I want to just kind of have you give us a little bit of a peek into that time where you found that you were that in the cocoon, but you had to bust out. And from that caterpillar, you became the butterfly. So tell us how you found the power to create the life that you're living right now, the life that you deserve. Well, like you said, Jennifer, you need to believe. Mm -hmm. As Napoleon Hill, mm -hmm. you know, very rightly quotes, yes. the mind which conceives and believes, you got to believe, you got to believe, does not, doesn't matter your circumstances, doesn't matter the adversities that you may be going through, or you know, a family friend or, you know, they may be going through, but the mind which conceives and believes will achieve. Meaning, if you believe that your life doesn't matter your circumstances today, because your your setback is your comeback, mm -hmm. and you Ooh. need, I mm -hmm. needed when mm -hmm. I was inside that cocoon for a very long time, Jennifer. When I was fifteen years of age, I was bullied at school, and that bullying that was a traumatic part of my life. That was so hard for me to 
you know, to, to see that. But what yeah. I needed to do, what had to be done for me to be empowered was yeah. I needed to take steps to get yes. those bills expelled. And this is what we are saying to you, ladies, is that yeah. doesn't matter your circumstance today, what you were going through yesterday mm -hmm. is to know you need to believe that you are worthy of so much yeah. more a yes, greatness you that you are living for you and your family you are living yeah. not that yes. you are dying or disintegrating wow. because of your circumstance i could have easily you know from my right. bullying in my marriage right. I right. could have crumbled and died, but mm, I wow. did not want to. And I don't want to because Jennifer no. and I, we are here to empower oh, you. That yes. What we have gone through yeah. is nothing short of what you women right. are also yeah. capable of doing. But what is yeah. important is for you and your families that you are taking care of your families, yes. but yes. to know that you have the support of Jennifer and I. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful speech. That was like the queen's speech. I want to rewind that on <laughs> the podcast you. here and listen to that. And I want to share being women of faith and knowing that God is our boss uh, and, and that we have divine wealth and health just from, from God. And it's not really just from man. It's not man-made. It really is. It's a, This is a whole spiritual journey. Your health is a gift from God. Your wealth is a gift from God. And we must Pay her forward, do our charity work, do our contributions, help someone out, tithe, because then our funds are blessed and our bounty will always increase. And I want everyone to know that. Now, wherever you are with your walk with your higher power in God, this is a chance to strengthen it. And this is a beautiful journey because there's a boss babe inside of you. Your impact equals income. And I want to go ahead and congratulate you publicly for making the wise decision, Aka, for joining our boss babe movement because you are a boss babe. You are a CEO. You are a shero. You through discipline, believing, said, you know what? I'm not going to give up on myself, but you're not here just resting on your laurels. You're hungry to learn more. Then you're sharing uh, uh, your, your businesses with others through your books, through your literary works, through collaborations with other like-minded women like myself. And, and I'm just pride myself knowing that God brought me an angel such as you and everyone out here watching. And, you know, I'm very selective with those that I I network with because I always believe this and I know you agree to Alka and everyone out there listening. You're only as good as the top five people you surround yourself with. So now as we go on this evolution, we have you sign a contract to yourself. And I'm going to read just the first paragraph because I don't want to give away everything. You're going to have to get the book and enjoy it yourself. But Alka and I wrote this contract for you to make a promise to yourself to not flake out on yourself, not fizzle out fast not just give up easy because Alka and I both could have just given up so many times. We had so many reasons to give up. People Absolutely. were kicking us when we were down. No one wanted to help us. No one wanted to give us a helping hand. But there's that certain one angel that comes along and we are angels to you. If you're just down and out, we want to help you get real with yourself. But it starts with discipline. We're here to activate you. I put in your name, everyone listening, Hereby solemnly commit to show up for myself and embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth in the realms of financial literacy, savings, wealth management, and retirement planning. I recognize the importance of nurturing my financial well-being as a foundation for a prosperous future. In addition to my financial health, I pledge to make my physical and mental well-being a priority. I understand that self-care is not only essential but crucial for achieving holistic balance and fulfillment in our life. Therefore, I vow to engage in mindful living, ensuring that I'm attentive to both my financial and personal needs. That's important. Holistic is the word, all encompassing. And I want to ask you, why do you think it's so important to go the holistic route with both financial and wealth together, Alka? Well, Jennifer, I believe holistically we need to live holistically yes and as we talked about you know is is the glove that fits the hand the physical and the fitness they both need to go hand in hand 
Yes. If you are creating wealth, if you are not careful with your finances, you're not going to be, you're going to skip out on your workouts. You're going to yes. eat bad. You're going to, so everything is going to be holistic, holistic from mm. your physical, from your finances, mm. from your relationships. Mm. Everything has to be holistic. And this is how this is how true living is done. But Jennifer, I also just want to take a moment to really congratulate you because you know you have inspired so many women. You know, you're the expert in the physical realm in this, you know, and you have inspired so many women. You've inspired me to literally mm -hmm. I, you know, take uh, take 20 notches in my yeah. physicality yeah. today. Where yeah. I was in my fitness journey, where yeah. I am today, it's just nothing short of and every time when I work out, mm -hmm. I think of you. And oh, you, you, you come into my mind and you are pushing me in my mind. And this is what Jennifer and I want to do for you guys. Yes. We want all of you listening today, we want to help you. We, we want to be in your mind so that we are pushing you, you know, further in your physical fitness, in your finances, to be careful, to be mindful of mm. the money that you are making the income. And what are you doing with the money? Where is that money being yes. spent? You've got to be mindful. Yes. If you're not yes. mindful and you skip it out of your workout, you take that yes. time off and think, oh my gosh, you know what? It's so easy. I've 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 done 20 reps and I can now sit on my I can sit down and relax. The same is goes for your finances. You may right. not be careful. And say, for example, you know, you withdraw, say, a thousand every month, for example, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Money can easily slip away. Mm -hmm. So if we are not careful, again, the same principle, everything as Jennifer and I were talking about is holistically. So what you do in one place when it comes yes. to your physical fitness That's is right. how you are going to work and respond to money yeah if you're not careful right. again once again money that's will right. just slip away that's it so oh, that's such a beautiful point right? absolutely so beautiful and thank you so much you know I, I those compliments you gave me don't go to my head they go to my heart and i want to continue to push myself you're right we can easily kick up our feet rest on our laurels but no you're out there investing you're out there going live you're showing new properties you're bringing us along with the journey i like to do the same thing in my quote unquote office when i go and work out and i'm training and doing the posing practice and that's a whole workout by itself and now with the intention of becoming an ifbb pro yes. receiving my earning earning i don't want to receive anything i'm going to earn it earn my pro card at the end of this month so when you get that quote unquote and you will and you will, and you oh, will. thank you oh, you're and so you will. kind you're so kind I'm gonna just I'm do gonna it be the... in your head saying yes you yeah. will. oh yes <laughs> yes and I feel that you push me I push you and that's very important <laughs> get around people that push you get around people that support you and also we are really aging in reverse you know we want to have these beautiful funds and the financial assets and the investments just paying off our dividends. So when we get into our best years of our life, we can really truly retire, but also have a strong body, have the muscle mass. And I just want to say, you know, you have to supplement your life with beautiful people that believe in you and supplement your life with great anti-aging supplements. I want to share with everyone. People say, how many years old are you? And I'm like, I'm going to be 50. They're like, no, I thought you were at least 30. And I just want to say, make sure you're hydrating, make sure you're doing, we love to biohack with our collagen. Shout out to all the boss babes. Meg, we love you. Dr. Sam, we love you. Everyone in our beautiful tribe, we love you. And, and it's so funny when people take the collagen HA chews or the trim or the bio cell, they're investing in their wellness. Some people are blocking health and wealth. And I'll tell you why. Oh, I can't afford that. Oh, I can't afford that course. Oh, oh, I can't afford that book. A lot of people are saying, oh, can I, I can't afford that. We want to help you break that. And I'm going to tell you from a spiritual perspective, people are blocking their money that they have right. the earning potential because mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. have that lack and scarcity mindset. They have negative beliefs about money. They have a lack of self-worth. That's why there's a direct correlation. I wish I had a graph here, but the more you start taking care of yourself and you're working out, hydrating, supplementing, eating healthy, getting a rest, the higher your self-worth goes. And then you 
want to learn more. You want to learn about financial and investing. That's you true. want to have, you're not spiritually misaligned anymore. There's no guilt or shame about your finances or your health. And you feel proactive and there's, there's no more fear of change. A lot of people are just kind of comfortably miserable. They're living in the torment of not having enough. They know how to get by. We're here to help you break that with our book. And I just want to say, Alka, your story is so mega motivational. And you talk about how, you know, you have to set clear and achievable financial goals. And that's paramount. Mm -hmm. Tell me why it is so important to set clear and achievable financial goals, whether it's like saving or for retirement, purchasing a home, but why these goals are so important. I'd love to hear your, your expertise. Setting goals is very important because if you, say for example, you know, you're 45 and you've got 20 years of your life to be 65. 65 is the, your retirement age. And the, why I shared this with in the book is to setting goals and being crystal clear. This is the step I took. This is what I do today. And this is what I want to share with you as to I'm going to be 56 in September. Wow. Happy I've birthday. got 10 phenomenal. Well, thank you. I'm going to be 56, but I feel 46. It's how you feel. 36. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Maybe 26. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is it's not it's not your age. It's not the number. Number is that it's just a numbers game. Your age is just a numbers okay. game. But what I'm trying to um say here is when when you Goals. look at the end in mind what's your end goal mm -hmm. if it's retirement age but you want to retire mm -hmm. what age do you want to retire and this is what I do daily is yes. I look at the end in mind mm -hmm. where am I today mm -hmm. where do I want to go what does my when I retire at the age of 60 at 65 I've got 10 more years of my life right. and wow. I do want to retire I do want to travel so yeah. what I'm trying to say if you have a goal you need mm -hmm. to be crystal clear on wow. what does your lifestyle look like if, yes. when you retire how much money right. do you have how much yes. money do you want to withdraw when you mm. retire because mm. we all want to live. We want to travel. We want to, yes. you know, have family and friends come. I know I do. I want Jennifer to come with me Absolutely. On, on trips one yes. day when I fly. Yes. I want Jennifer to come. Yes. I want my family and friends around. And as we said, it, who do you surround yourself with? Right? That's right. So That's have beautiful. a crystal clear goal. And it's very important because mm. if you, so if you say, oh, but, you know, willy-nilly and you say, oh, mm -hmm. but, you know, what, I want to retire. Well, that's yes. very basic. But what does it look like? And this is the end in mind you want to always yes. be seeing. So sit down with your family and have a plan. Wow. Okay, your spouse, so he may retire in the next maybe five years. You yep. have 10 more years of your life. Yes, what yes. Do, what are you, both of you combined, are mm. going to be doing together? Or, you know, if you have separate hobbies, what does that look like? Even when you retire, do you have hobbies in mind? I know mm -hmm. for me, Jennifer, I'm not sure if I shared with you, but oh. I've been in the dancing community for the past, since 2004. I've been competing. Wow. In Latin okay. and Boring Dancing. Wow, that is that is a very hard sport. And nice. kudos to you. And I know you're phenomenal. And that's a great hobby to have that you want to continue to do. And I do. And I will. Because, mm -hmm. Jennifer, you inspired me. So, number one, you inspire me every single day. When I'm working out, you're in my head. But, <laughs> you know, the Olympic Games has yes. also inspired me yes. that next year I'll be competing in Latin America. Yes. yes, you Ballroom. will be. Yes, yes you I will be. be. And yes. that's what I love because when you're financially fit, you can have that leisurely time and not it. having to be clocking Absolutely. in, clocking out, working three jobs. You have the you have your time freedom because you have your money freedom. And I like to say that Absolutely. having realistic, firm goals act as a guiding star to your daily actions. It is a yes. roadmap to say, 
And I don't want to say the word, I mean, people use budget, but I like to say how I allot my funds because mm -hmm. it, when budget seems like you're scrimping or like you're living in lack, no, I am wise and intelligent how I utilize my funds. And I have a yes. lot of my funds mm -hmm. for this goal. And I have this goal, especially with, say you want to lose 20 pounds. We don't do it overnight. You don't do it from just starving yourself. One day you have the goals. How are my macros balanced out with my, you know, my protein and my carbs and my healthy fats and doing my meal prep? It gives you a guiding star, a roadmap to your daily actions, and then you're enjoying the journey. I want you to know that there's ego goals. A lot of people are driven by ego. I want to be the wealthiest person to have power over people, to show everybody how important I am. And that's an ego goal. And as you're working on achieving wealth that way you're not going to be happy you, you've, i met a lot of bitter miserable multimillionaires. i want everyone to set these soul goals goals that feed mm -hmm. your spirit when you work Absolutely. on your investments yes. you work on allocating your 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 funds and how you want to wisely invest it even your time your time is money i love that it's one of the most famous adages of all time but it's so true how you spend your time are you going to just do an easy workout that anyone can do? Are you going to really challenge yourself and make that time Thanks. work? You're getting like three hours of a workout in one hour. And that's why I'd love that you say I motivate you. And, and that's what I want people to see that you got to push yourself, put yourself financially and push yourself physically, challenge yourself. And that leads me to this question. You know, there's this amazing opportunity now for people to truly crack their code financially and physically. Why do you think now more than ever, people need to take their finances seriously and their fitness, especially now for the more mature person, maybe they're in their, you know, mid to late forties, fifties, and they're looking at life retirement. It was okay, Alka, maybe when we're younger in college to kind of get around a very, you know, minuscule, humble um, um, financial situation, but when you get older, it's hard to struggle financially. Tell us why it's important now that people must start planning their financial success and their physical success. Absolutely. Well, when it comes to the financial, it is very, it is very, very difficult for most of us because, you know, we've got the higher cost of living. Wow. Hello. We've got inflation. inflation. Yeah, exactly. Hello. Thanks. And it's not going away, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So what we are faced with right now in the economy the higher yeah. cost of living. I was shocked when I was in the UK. Yep. You know, people can't afford to even pay rent. That's true. So they have to downsize. They have to really. That's they're right. having a hard time. Very mm -hmm. difficult time. So this is why I feel where we are, all of us are faced with today. You know, we've got the we've got inflation. So the economy, yes. how the outlook is looking today, is mm. not very good. So no. because of that, we need to really ramp up on yeah. if your spouse, you and your spouse, you have a nine to five job. Yeah. We do not have a crystal ball as to what will happen. There are going to be job loss that's going to be coming. Artificial but, intelligence. Yes. And artificial intelligence. Absolutely. It's going to take over. It's going to take mm -hmm. over. So we want to now reverse engineer from what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Always predict yourself and forecast for you and your family to say, this is what's going to happen. But because before that happens, I need to take steps, you know, mm -hmm. to protect mm -hmm. my family, protecting right. your family That's today right. because right. of job loss, because of artificial intelligence mm -hmm. that is coming, that's here to stay, is not going away. And because mm -hmm. of that, it's very important that we need to really ramp up on our finances. It's and when so it comes true. To, right? When it comes no. to money, you know, if, you're, if you have your nine to five job, that's not guaranteed. That could be gone away. And then if your spouse is, um, has be, is unemployed, there's no money coming in then what is happening? So if you are not careful with your money, you're, you're spending too much money, you have a paycheck and you are spending money unnecessarily and you're blinded by where mm -hmm. money is being spent. Uh -huh. This is where the crucial, the foundation is very important that Spam. I come into because I know what that felt like in my life. Mm -hmm. And this is what I want to help 
to yes. say that your finances and how you navigate with money is and you're very, get very important. In our book. <laughs> and I'm so excited. That's you're going right. to get the help that you need in our book. I want to take the time to thank you and all of our listeners here that have just, this has been almost an hour. We could go on and on and on in this call, but we want you like we've been giving you a little teaser. We want to give you a little sizzle, not the whole steak. I want you to go ahead and get the Kindle download. You can go to Amazon right now and then enjoy the Kindle download. Look how beautiful that cover is. We're wearing green for the power of abundance and prosperity. This came out so phenomenal. I am so overjoyed. Yeah. It's almost like a surreal dream that this is happening. And this is another miracle when you believe and you never give up. So the successful path to financial and physical fitness, your winning wealth and health lifestyle formula by Alka Sharma and Jeremy Lee. I want to take 30 seconds to just give you thanks, Alka, our literary team, our publisher, our editor. Absolutely, Everyone that yes. works on this incredible, the photographer, Joanne, you did amazing, the graphic artist that helped devise the, the front cover, the back cover. And you right now listening to this, you need this book. Why? Things are getting more expensive. Inflation is going up. You're going to have to work maybe one or two or three more jobs and have another residual stream of income just to maintain the lifestyle that you had last year. We want to help you get physically fit, mentally fit, and emotionally fit. You are a business athlete. And with Alka Sharma and I, Jennifer Nicoli, we're going to help you crack your financial and fitness code because you deserve to both have energy and have great just physical fitness and also fitness in your finances. So get our book today at amazon.com. Give us a five-star review because your reviews really help um, authors like us and we want to help you achieve your goals. What would you like to say to everyone out there listening and closing, Alka? Yeah, absolutely, Jennifer. I, you know, women today, we, you know, are having a, a tough time because we're going through divorce, we're going through challenges and circumstances in our lives today. But I want you to know that your setback is your comeback and come back empowered so that you and your family can really live a life of prosperity. And this is what we want from you to live in a life of financial fitness and physical fitness because you owe that to yourself and you owe that to your families. So Perfect. this is what I want women to just take away from. I just want to say, pinch me because this is a dream come true. And that was beautiful, <laughs> Alka. I just felt that in my heart. I am just so grateful to co-author this literary classic for years yes. it'll change so many lives you know for this for what 25 dollars. once you get the the hard cover book and you get the soft cover book that comes out in a month this is going to give you a phd in physical fitness and also your finances this is our gift to humanity this is gift to that one person that it's down and out on their luck and they don't know which way to turn they want to physically get in shape mentally get in shape alka poured her just knowledge and her expertise into this book from financial investing and her know-how. And she is an avid um, sport enthusiast as, as a ballroom dancer. That is a very hard sport. It is not easy, the timing, the tempo. And I, I you know, I love, I love helping women walk into their wealthiest and healthiest version of themselves being the queen of manifesting. You've got to remove the blocks and say, yes, I am worthy. Yes, I can do more. Yes, I can be more. And this is what we do in closing. Before we sign off, I want to Kindly remind everyone, one reason for getting this book is the positive affirmations. I am attracting wealth and health in every breath. I am open to receiving infinite prosperity. I am prosperous in all areas of my life. That's just one of 50 affirmations with a notebook area. So this is more like a workbook for you to really be interactive with that it'll stick when you write down, you'll remember it. So get this book. It'll change your life. And after you do watch out because we're going to be doing live virtual masterclasses. Al and I will be teaching chapter by chapter. So you can go through it with us. You can do the work with us, the fun work, as I say. So you'll make true impact in your lives by utilizing and integrating what we teach you here into real life practices. So That's make right. sure you follow us both for that. And Alka, what would you like to say in closing? This has been such a joy. I just appreciate and love you so much. Love you too, Jennifer. Always, always be empowered. Always know your self-worth. Always know that you are worthy of more. And don't let people put you down, but be financially fit, 
and physically fit and your life wow. will change. Wow. Wow. That is so beautiful. All right, everyone, get the Kindle download and stay tuned for our big launch of the soft cover book coming out on September the 9th, Alka's mm -hmm. birthday month. And then, yes, I cannot wait to see you in Toronto. Exactly. Much more to come see from Alka Sharma and I, Jennifer Nicoli. Thank you all for tuning in and sharing is caring. Please share out this podcast if you know someone could really benefit from watching it. Thank you, Alka. Thank you, and thank you to all of our watchers. And also, last but not least, thank you to Sarah Rain Jones and Live Limitless. We believe in you. Have a godless day. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Bye-bye.